So we've been doing cinematics and my duty was to kind of come and feel out the place and see if I pick up on anything or feel any vibes. So I don't know, it's, it's weird. So I don't even know. You always <laughs> catch me off guard. Um, well, how are you feeling like? To be honest, like a little, like everywhere. Like my mind can't settle and it's like kind of like bouncing. So anytime I looked in there, I automatically got the sense that there are two people in there. So if we come up, well, I looked into this window first and I felt a woman. And then when I looked over onto this window, I felt a man, but they were both kind of like standing up on like the podium area. I didn't see them, I could just feel their energy. But that's pretty much all that I've gotten so far. I no keep- names, No names, no nothing? No names, no nothing. I mean, I haven't fully like tapped in. Um, I will get more into it tonight. But so far, like I do pick up on already a couple spirits for sure. But I'm not sure if the female spirit that I'm picking up on is actually the spirit that's in the jail. You know what I mean? Because there is a spirit there, so they could be coming back and forth from locations. But definitely pick it up already at two. That's funny because people say a man is seen on the podium. Wicked. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I also keep getting like the idea that the left light at some point will turn on. I don't know why I keep thinking that, but there's a light in the podium. We'll be able to show you better when we're actually in there. But I keep getting like that light has something to do with something that it's turned on. Either it will tonight or it's turned on in previous times. So when we are with Felicity, I want to see if that's correct. If that has ever gone on while she was in the building. Okay. So that's kind of just like my vibes of being here for like 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. What about you guys? Have you picked up on anything or felt? I'm feeling kind of a good energy. Especially right in the middle, right there. I feel like kind of a... Well, my tingly feeling that I have. Yeah. Right here, I'm all tinglish. And I feel a little bit of anxiety, mm -hmm. but not the anxiety that I would normally have. It's kind of a, yes, excitement, <laughs> but I don't know, I, it's mixed emotions. I got sorrow, I got happiness, and, got, and I know that it, when they had hangings, it was like a public kind of thing. Yeah. And being a public thing, well, people would be sad to see somebody being hanged, and some people would be happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very so, true. So that would explain like the mixed emotions. But the jail, it's, it's heavy. Yeah. It's heavy. just like uh, looking at the building. I thought that the old Trois-Rivières jail was heavy, but that, that it's next level. That's it. it it's not a jail, it's a box. Mm -hmm. Look at this thing. It's concrete blocks with slits as window and may I say that I think that the two kids escaped by one of the slits they were so small and I think they were in jail because they stole food yeah so they were so starving they were so thin they went through this to escape so We'll try to talk to them tonight. To be honest, I don't feel much. No? I need to be inside the courthouse. The jail, I know for a fact, once we go in, will be a different story. They come to you in the jail. This is where I'm fascinated by. I just need to be in there. I feel like once we go in there, past the threshold, that's when we're truly gonna figure out what's in there. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, we're just waiting on Felicity um, at this point, and we're gonna get down to the history and take it from there and see what the night holds for us. So, mm -hmm. 
I'd say we get some dinner and then uh, yeah. we'll yep. get some food. Some ghosts. Wait, though. We gotta protect ourselves. Because if Felicity says there's a negative energy in this courthouse, we have to yeah. take that precaution. Yeah, to protect ourselves because if there's a really, really bad, bad entity that, well, wants to come back with us, and I don't want any yeah. passengers going back to no Quebec. So, uh, yeah, you know, so we'll see. See you then. Here's to a good night. Right. Oh, I think it came from the ramp. Yeah. Feel that energy going right up. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Instantly, as soon as I stepped in here, I just thought it was. Oh. I didn't have the lights, I wanted the lights. No, it's active place is the judge's chair. Yeah. My leg is freaked out. You're joking. No. Yeah, it's freaked out. Oh my. Uh, that, that's a full battery, dude. I know. Yeah, it, yeah. That's cool. Now, you see here, they still have the holes in the bench for the chains to go through. See, the oh. first person had their chain taken from their ankle, fed through the hole, back to their wrist, and then the last person. They'd all be chained together. Oh, yeah. And then back to there. Right there. And it's called the hot seat because even if you didn't commit the crime, right, it didn't make any difference. You would sweat profusely in there <laughs> because the man who used to look after the building would feed the wood stove from underneath. <gasps> the wood stove is directly underneath there. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, see over here? That's the back door of the chair. Thomas Hutchins case. There's Thomas Hutchin. They're the lead RCMP guy. And what's missing from that? He's been charged. I can see it, John. There's no cuffs. Here. No cuffs. There's enough there. cuffs. And one, like I told Lomar, back it was in '42. Yeah. In '42, the army had other things to attend. Yeah. So they had, they didn't have time to trial him. No. So, go ahead, trial him. It didn't desert, it didn't do nothing related to the army, so trial him. Yeah. But over here, see, you'll see all the things like the grocery list, which is a laugh box that didn't get a hot meal until 1942, and that was once a week, not once a day. And the, the, the fact that probably he's not cuff is the fact probably the RCMP guy, out of respect for him. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, but the, the RCMP is kind of a of a was kind of a branch of of the army for a certain a period of time, but like like uh, army, RCMP can have a pension for veteran. Yes, it is for army and RCMP personnel that you can have a pension for disability related to your service. special treatment because RCMP were related themselves to the army guys. So there's a washroom there for anyone. Awesome. Um, <laughs> you said you found food prints? So this is where we've had hand prints appear. And see up there? Oh yeah, I see it, right there. You see, if somebody had climbed up there, there would be a print on there and it, you're not allowed on these anyway. But we've had a hoof print, we've had hand prints appear. And look, hand prints don't Oh no, you see it right there. There's no handprints at all. That, uh, you can even see it on my on my screen. Look. Yeah, I can see it. You can see it. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. That's a big handle. That is a big handle. Yeah. Hand. And check this out. And it's... 1840, the sheriff of this town, October 1844. I had a very slow day. Oh. See, look. That's 1844. Or look at that, guys. It is carved in the wood. Oh. 
Now, from what I saw online, I have to ask this question. Upon coming in here, is it true that Thomas Hutchins manifests in here like Creepy Canada mentioned? Yep. He laid out in one clear and I've got weird pictures of where something kind of like brings itself up and actually there used to be big screens behind the dock. Okay. Uh, and the, the, uh, the accused Yeah. Um, there's a guy walking by, he's got no head. And then in here, this is the judge's chamber, and this is where they found the gallow. The gallow was actually in here? No, the gallows was hidden directly underneath there. <gasps> and see, there's the light that came down on me. There's the chip on the table. See the cracks on it? Yeah. And this was a month after somebody caught an EVP with a German woman's voice going, Get the knife, go go get the knife. Yeah. And then you said that when they came to fix it, it looked like it had been tampered with the yeah. knife, right? Yeah. Wow. See how they can even edge that off, but I mean, who would get up there to do that? Yeah, exactly. Her Majesty. And then came out of the washroom, and he kind of went, Look, what? Wow. Look, and I just went right down, missed me like that. I felt it went right down. But see, this is where I normally stand. And I can show you pictures of where there's a, a red cloak holding a dog. <gasps> Whoa. Your Majesty's broad dress. Oh. And this used to, exactly here, is underneath here in the basement. Um, it's very small. Um, let me close this up. You can't get in there because it's so small, but okay. that's where the gallows were hidden. And if you look at the side of the steps as you come down, mm -hmm. there's two cells underneath there that they've been backed up. There's two cells? Yeah, underneath the steps. Interesting. Wow, so they'd actually keep people under there? Mm -hmm. For how long, do you know? Oh, I think just one corpse sitting. Okay. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, this room, the only room you can't go in is this room here. Okay. And it's all locked up anyway. Okay. But, um, yeah, yeah, great. Um, this is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. Then, that changes on the phone. Um, that's the side door that they put in the prison room. From the other side of the jail, in from here, and then change it to left. Okay. Then, another washroom. Yeah. So that was the, the way in. And you said the blinds going up and, and down and run. Really? And they had new windows fitted for that, mm, I think, 2019, I and you never see anyone fit the windows so quickly. They actually came up from Nova Scotia to do it across the door, it was changed. Okay. But you see the blinds? Yeah. They had a blind company come down <laughs> from St. John and they knew about this courthouse. They had the whole thing done in less than an hour. Oh, wow. So they up on ladders and they were like, oh no, <laughs> it's haunted in here. And I went, yeah. I think it's more haunted in here than it is in jail. Now, have you had experiences in here? Yeah. That I've shook you? Yeah. I've heard music coming out from the vents, and it's almost like it's like I've gone back to like 1940. That kind of that dark. That far back. Hmm. Yeah, that, like, you know, that one more time. Yeah. Music. And I was like, okay, that's not, not normal. So we went out to listen to see if somebody was playing anything on their radio that we could hear. Hmm. It was deadly silent. I came back in here, and it was still playing. Hmm. And the basement was all locked up. Hmm. I've had grown men just leave here and leave their wives and children behind. You didn't yeah. want to stay? No. No. I, apart from the light, the handprint, the hoof print, um, the knife, 
the middle light yeah. going on and it's off when it's on. That picture changing, people have taken a picture of it and it's suddenly not Queen Victoria, it's something else. Oh. So here, and this is pretty cool. There's only one other set in the world, and this is why you've got weights and measures. This is the usual, and it says it in that piece of paper. So if you're short a bushel of apples, you can come up here and get them weighed. That is really cool. Does it? Trophies or? No, they're weights and measures. They should weigh in. Oh! Yeah, yeah to weigh. Wow! Yeah. And it was all made in 1834. 1854. Wow! Yeah. And it comes from London, England. Oh, cool. But wow. so you've got your half pint, your bushel. Can you pint. imagine the price of that yeah. back then? Yeah. Even now. Yeah, even even now, but, <laughs> e e but no, but back then, the copper was. Really, really a, a, a commodity yeah. used for ships, for specialties, and to make so that. Yeah. Wow! Any of us? I don't know. Did you guys just hear that thump, or was that one of us? You I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure, man. But it sounds like it came from downstairs. downstairs. I wasn't sure. And there's nobody downstairs. Because what else getting shivers right now? Oh, we've also had the door slam. That like the the one going into the room. Into the J. Oh, and then a guy came, Marcus Green, and it, he has it on his YouTube channel. He came, and uh, we'd done a thing inside the jail, and all the stuff was being ripped out of the middle cabinets, and we were locked in, and everyone was locked out. So we come over here. He's already shaken up. So we go in there. He puts his camera down on the table. It spins. No and, yeah, it spins right off, right? <laughs> and then he puts it round his neck and he walks around in front of the portraits. The strap completely got ripped up on his neck. <sighs> I think it's stronger in here than in the jail for whatever Well, I think is. because of the hot seat, like, you could get in there and you couldn't even be in this province. But because you were sweating, a sign of your guilt, normally, mm. You'd get sentenced. So I think there's a lot of people in here who were sentenced for stuff that they didn't do. But Absolutely. they were sitting over the top of a wood burning stove, and you've gone from frozen hell to the heart of hell in what, five minutes? Yeah. So. That's sad on their behalf because, you know. Thank you. Can you touch can you touch it again just to show us that you're here? Just to confirm? Please? Thank you. I'm gonna stand here all the whole investigation. <laughs> There's heat coming out of the floor. <laughs>
is as active as people say. So, let's get right into it. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, and I've put my, I'm going to show the viewers, I've put spirit music box on the judge's bench. So I think his honor probably doesn't like my... <laughs> well, there might be new spirits in here, so let's reintroduce ourselves. Yeah. So why don't we start with the ladies. My name is Lamar. And my name is Jeff. So we traveled a while to get here tonight. Came all the way from Halifax. And I yeah. came from Quebec. Came all the way from Quebec. From Trois Rivières, actually. We're told that a spirit sometimes closes this light. Can you turn it off, please? So all the lights could, could be turned off. You heard a thumb? A humming? A humming? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm going to put a good old flashlight on. Put it right here. Yeah, that round thing with the antenna sticking out, it's called a REM pod. All you have to do really for that one is go near it or touch it, and that will show us that you are here with us. Or over here, you have a black stick, it's called a flashlight. If you put your energy into it, you can turn it on and turn it off. So you can use that also. And on the judge's bench, we have another box. It's called a cell. Suffer. Suffer. It's called a cell phone. And you can use it if you touch it or you move it, it's gonna do music. Oh my god, look at that. Thank you. That's probably me okay. stepping down. What? I, I, did you see the sense of that's not me? No. I don't think that was you in the first place, maybe then. Try it again. Try stepping down from there again. See if we can get it. Hard to tell. I don't know. The step up, probably, but the step down, I'm not sure. But when I was standing here, that wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thomas Hutchings. I don't know if you remember this, but 20 years ago, a TV show came here. If you don't know what a TV show is now on television, I'm 
Jesus. But that television show came and based their episode on you. Said that you like to manifest here. You like to show yourselves here. Watch, I shivers as soon as I said that. All over my body. Please tell us a reason why you reside here and show yourselves to visitors and staff members. Feeling right now, but like a jolt of electricity just went right up my body as soon as I called him out. Wow. I don't know why, but oh. I, I'm starting feeling not cold, but. I'm going to leave. No, please stay. We want to communicate, we want to talk with you. Have we done something to upset you? Have we said something? That could upset, uh, as I've upset, upset you. Sorry, I'm French. <laughs> well, if the spirit that told us that he's gonna leave, please leave. But is there another spirit that wants to communicate? That would be muchly appreciated. All the devices here are harmless. They're just here to do sounds and lights to show us that you're here with us. Exactly like the round thing over there with the metal rod sticking out, calling the, called the ramp pod. Just got lights and sound. Just like that. Can you do it again? Please? Just one more. Just a slight touch. No? That's good. We can whisper. Yeah, please. Nope, the flashlight is not a, it's not a good spot. It's usually. Okay, right there. Plasma ball would have been nice by now. Uh, I can go and get it. You have a plasma ball? Yeah, it's in my, I'll need some batteries though. Or we can plug it. Yeah. I can plug it. I'll go and grab it from. Uh, right, yeah, well, cup two. So we're back. I went to get the plasma ball, but the cord is not in. So <laughs> we'll do what we have. And I think they'll gather up energy from our batteries anyways. Yeah. Well. All right, well, thank you so much for pushing it off the railing. That is exactly what we want to do. That's me. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I just missed the step. Can you knock? Did you hear the knock? Yeah. That's why from the, from the 
Can you knock again from the ch to judge's timber? Probably they're thinking that we're kind of a, I don't know, cult or with, with our, our, our equipment. Where you get the red X? Like the 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 well, in Hinsdale House, yeah. on the second yeah. floor, the the, the, the room. And yep. We went at the SKQ expansion. I had a huge extra yep. one specific room as well. Um, I just got it for this one, and then it said satanic. But right before I got the X, my eyes started watering, which means the spirit is around me. Around you. So just take caution. Someone please tell us who moved this device from the railing. Scott. Scott. Scott? Right Whoa. Away. Scott. Right away. Are you related to the premises, Scott? Paul. Another name. Scott and Paul, are you related to this ground? To the premises or to the building by any means? Can we see you? Sit down. That's not, that's not us. No. Crime. 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 That's me. Okay. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Watch out here. Watch out here. What did I tell you guys? I literally told both of you to watch out in this room. What's going to happen if we stay in here? Are you going to hurt us? What we have to watch out? <gasps> Sorry. What, what do we have to watch out for? chair behind me the, the the leather is kind of a red pot's going on. If you push it down we'll put it back, don't worry. safe here. 
Thank you. Can you push down the book of the year, the law? Those are probably law books. And I see a couple of dates and years. Can you find the one related to your crime? Here, the shell's cracking. Here? Mm -hmm. That's my stomach. Guys, you can hear the shells where the books are, are cracking. Yes. Begin. It's like the calm before the storm. Yeah, it's like kind of a not getting the suspense then, but kind of yeah. just giving up some like the music box, the ramp pod. Yeah. Get everything like the wow factor. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. You add your phone falling down, but. Ooh, what? No way. Whoa. So oh you my. threw the phone. So you threw the phone. I swear, if you were to re review that footage, it was it was pushed. There's no possible way. That just backed that up. And. Talking about the phone, what yeah. word comes out? Throw. Yeah. Like, what are the odds? Oh. That was. One man here. Whoa. Oh. One man here? One man. Do you have a name? We had Scott and Paul coming through. Please tell us your name. thinking about something. So you guys, we're going to do some role play and Chelsea's playing the judge. Right, they're in there. They're in there. I put the music box, so. Okay, so they're already in there? Yep.
If guilty, hit the ramp pod. If innocent, turn on the flashlight. Oh, oh, oh. So what, what would it be? Guilty or innocent? Bring the prisoners in! The others. Which others? Is there other spirits that are not related and they scare you? Is that it? You had a debt of fourteen dollars? Hmm. Don't be shy. Won't harm you. Everything here is harmless. Just help us to communicate with you, that's all. Hmm. Yeah, gather, gather some energy. Go ahead. This isn't the real court session. Scratch. 
No. We don't want to get scratched. Used, yeah, but back back in the day, it was oh, oh. Is the, that why you stick around here? You want to prove to people that you were innocent? That you were wrongly accused. Please talk to the device over on the railing. It'll let us know what you say. Huh. Oh, ho, 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 okay. All right, so, wow. So then, are we talking to someone right now who was guilty? If you were guilty, use one of the devices and make it known somehow. Not now. Maybe one day. Why don't you join us? Come and sit. And pot. Can you come and sit next to me, please? Hmm. We've been getting names. We had Scott and Paul in the judge's chamber. Now James. We had Ellen. They're gathering energy because I had to sit down because I can't, when I'm standing up, I'm, I'm feeling really tired that I have to sit. Fire, yeah. Is the warden's wife here with us? Goodbye. No. If we have upset you, we're really sorry. Please stay. We want to communicate some more.
that one is a bizarre one. Because you can't feel the energy. You see, we know we, there's something, but it's kind of like they're shy or they're afraid. Or, I don't know. What the? Oh! Hello. Who just joined us? That is Kate. Uh, I think so. I think it said escape. Yeah, it said escape. Oh. Are you one of the inmates that escaped? Then came back? Orb. I never had that word coming through Spirit Talker. No, I don't think we have either. Yeah, I've never really heard the word either. Are you going to show yourself and manifest it in word? That would be lovely. Please, go ahead. Again? Paul or Paul? Or oh, Paul, all right. I thought Paul. Can you do that sound again, please? Or could it be the furnace? I think it just turned on again. Was that your age? Oh, ho, ho. so you were 20. Could that have been Thomas Hutchings? Thomas. He was 21 years old. Hmm. That light just went off. Yeah. 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 What the? yeah. That? And I was filming in that direction when it happened. And now I died. You liked it here? It 
did like the time that you went in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. And feel it, it's like overheating. Wow. And it's not that hot here. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. You're enjoying this, but we could enjoy it too if we, you could manifest some more. I just tapped on the flashlight right here to turn it on. Can you turn it off, please. <coughs> Sorry. Turn it off, please. Thank you. Just turned off the flashlight. Can you turn it back on, please? Just to show me that you know how to open it. You good, bro? There's a reason why I think Thomas is residing here. And I truly believe that maybe I don't know if this is true, but he didn't kill the woman. Did it say Beatrice or Bernice? That was Thomas Hutchins. Yeah. Right there. That's in the middle. Yeah. Mr. Gallo. That was him. Shell cell. And the paper clipping of the time. See, and that's the gallery. Yeah. That's outside the jail. So when he was looking outside his cell window, he's excused the mind because it built the gallery and the piece of it on the inside of the jail because the weather took it out in part and they couldn't even find any other um, any articles in terms of time time problems. Left up with Jane and his assistant and I had to build it. Where you are standing, that's where his 
that's where it, that he was put? Are you here right now? Is that you? We're following you. What did I just explain? <sighs> Everywhere I go is electricity. Why are you following the wire? And you guys, so you know, right here when I'm sitting, this where, after hanging Thomas Hutchins, they put his body right here. So I'm literally sitting where the body was laid. So, yeah. Do you have a message you want to tell the world? We cannot. Whoa. Flashlight turned on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the flashlight. Can you turn it off, please? Turn it off if you're Thomas. And you know what will the flashlight, don't you? A torch. Thank you. Oh. Do yeah. I was right on it when it turned off. But remember, they were right for them. A flashlight and a torch. A torch, yeah. Wow. Yes! Yeah. I have no regrets. Oh! So even if you were wrongly accused and wrongly hanged, you have no regrets. Is that it? Can you give us any kind of sign, please? That you're at peace? Did we have that name coming through earlier on? William. Well, in the jail, we didn't have Wilson coming through? Yeah, well, I have to check. Again, the, the torch again. Thank you. Right on command. Please answer my question. I really want to know why you reside here. We are filming on cameras which are going to the whole world. People from around the world are watching this right now. Please give us a message that you want to tell the world. Why do you reside here? Please. Flashlight. Thank you. Wow, it's really sucking. Thank you. Take the energy from the, the, the torch. It doesn't matter. We just want to know if you're at peace. If you're at peace, can you turn on the flashlight, please? Keep walking. Hmm. Keep walking. Are they talking to me? Keep walking. Yeah, because I mentioned everywhere I go, I felt electricity. Yeah. Jail? Oh. 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 
oh. And it can't be you. You're too freaking far from the thing. Yeah. And I was sitting down on the ground. <laughs> Thank you. Now you have to open it. Yeah. That's. All right. Got him in the hot seat. Were you ill? Were you sick? Would you like it? Well, have to change batteries again. <laughs> Would you like it if we all spent some time in here one by one? If so, we can make that happen. Every change. Spirits or Thomas to be exact wanting me to keep walking. All right. Can we take a bit of a break? Yeah. It should be good. Uh, drop it a bit. Lawyer. Beast. Eric. Ben. Nelson. And there's a great Connection. Oh, hurt. I don't want it. Going off. David. Good. Real. Perfect. Boy. Oh. Mass. Assume. Hey. Hey, they were coming like everybody was coming through. It was like multiple voices coming through. Might. Who are we talking to right now? 
think good come on They're real? Who is with us right now? Please give us Maria, listen. Now? You're dead? No. There she? people Hello? Couldn't make that. What? Volume. Well, yesterday, something yesterday. I do it. Ring. person do it people Thank you. 
kept it. Men? Think. This hell. I might. Small. really hard to make out. Running. Three. Oh. oh. There were words coming in, but it's like, it was like kind of slurry. It, 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 I could make some of the words, but some of them were just just like, like growling, yeah. yeah, kind of a growling or a trying to, to speak, but they're not able to get the word out. Kind of like Who is here with us right now? Are we still talking to Thomas? Actually, I should not say it that well. But <laughs> is Thomas still here? Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm awake. Who are we talking to? Leave. A man. Shush. 
Who are we talking to right now? Hello, I'm Victor. Hello, what? Victor. Victor, are you, are you related to the grounds here? I'm unknown. Hmm. You're unknown. Someone's touching my hand. Beatrice. Again. Had that ink Beatrice earlier, yeah. yeah. Look up. Do you see him? Look up. Way look, look. Nope. Sorry. See who? Thomas. Oh. Oh. Look up. We're looking up. Dead. You want him? He's gone. Thomas, how do you feel with her lying in the spot that you laid for hours? through your daughter? Yes. No. What message do you have to get through your daughter? Do you want to tell her that you love her? I'm sorry. That you're sorry that what happened. He's coming. I'm sorry. Who's coming? Wendell, the man. What man? Help. I think she's talking about the guy who appears at the window. He He's needs back. He needs help. Hmm. The man that appears at the window, do you need help? Kill. Kill who? Bloody? Bloody? Wayne's... Wayne's something. Give us any sort of sign. No. Um, get back. Get out. Trials. 
100 trials. Oh. I'm up here. I know you kept telling us to look up, but when we look up, we don't see anything. Up? Yes. Hey. 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 Hey again. Look up. Look up. Is there an, there's no attic in here? Nothing. Up. Yeah, we're looking up. Oh. It's painful. Okay. Okay. Who just set that device off? Thomas. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Someone just touched my leg. Thomas. And they, they, they clapped. If it was you, can you touch it again, please? She's shaking. Lucy? Patricia? Names again. Is this a portal or a gateway? That was your grandpa. No, my grandpa didn't go off. No? Yes. Are you spirits just passing by? Do we, do we have people from the graveyard nearby? The man, the window, out. Man on the window. Man. Monster. Yeah. How did you feel with that one? You, I don't know if the camera can catch it. The whole time I was laying there, my whole body was shaking. I don't know. If At the end, I was seeing. Yeah. I, I saw that you were shaking. It wasn't like I wasn't scared or anything, and I was very like aware. Like um, I didn't feel like I blacked out or anything, but I could feel my body just like shaking at times. But then at certain times, a certain voice would come, and my whole body would just like calm. Yeah. I don't know. That's interesting. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot worse. Like, oh no! What? I didn't feel. All of that? Yeah. I just realized that I'm standby. <laughs> I mean, you can have my footage if you want. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your hat. Alright guys, so we're in the morning for our investigation and we thought we'd pay a visit to Graham. Now this is where he's actually laid to rest. I have questions for you. Thomas, I really hope that you found peace. I don't know if you were truly convicted of your crimes, but we know someone is innocent. So I really hope you, you know that. Um, and thank you for talking to us last night and coming through so clearly it means the world that we clarified your presence. You told me? Yeah. And I heard is like I heard a voice just saying like turn that way or go that way. Really? So that's why I started coming over this way. And no matter what happened, Thomas, thank you for your service. Lest we forget. Thank you. Wow. 
I, I don't know if it's like being here, but I'm overwhelmed with, with emotions right now. Like I've known him. But I think he didn't do it. I feel it. We're sorry what happened to you, Thomas. But thank you for communicating with us, and we'll come back and see you. We really hope you're at peace now. Yeah. We deserve to be at peace. Thank you, Thomas. My name is Lamar. I'm Charles. I'm Jeff, or my real name is Jean-François. You can call me Jeff. <laughs> you know, in the army, well, have all. We all have our nicknames, so, yeah. Hopefully you can remember us, because we will be back. And hopefully you can make a visit when we do come back. Maybe we'll come here first and talk to you. You can come and hang out with us when we go back, so. And, well, I think that's a, that's a wrap. I think that's a wrap. So, on with the next. Peace, you guys. See you on the next Paranormal Adventure. Bye-bye.